and welcome to FYI. It's Wednesday, 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 all day for 24 hours. It's Wednesday, the 23rd day of March. Welcome to FYI, wherever you folks are joining us from. Good to see each and every one of you. I have been abandoned momentarily by my co-host, Serena Finance. She's going to be joining us, taking a little time this morning to powder her nose and make sure her hair is right. You know, all the fancy things the ladies like. <laughs> so I've been abandoned momentarily, but it's good to be here with you. And, you know, once you guys are here, it's going to be okay. As long as you guys, like Miss Guyana 10, as long as you fantastic, lovely folks are here, it's going to be just great. And Miss Guyana 10, I would love to know the, the, the name of this person uh, outside of Miss Guyana 10, who is joining us on YouTube, says it's a lovely sunny day here in Yorkshire, Yorkshire, England. Good to see. Is it Yorkshire or Yorkshire? <laughs> Yorkshire, England. Good to see you. Cherry Baskin Robbins as well. Good to see all of you. Beautiful, fantastic folks. And Cherry says she's watching us some beautiful Barbados. Yep, 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 yep. Think it was one of those beaches even now there. Mm -hmm. Good to see you, Cherry. Good to see you. And all the other fantastic, beautiful folks who are joining us around the world this morning. So happy that you guys are here. Quite a bit of information to share with you once, once she really gets here. <laughs> Quite a bit of information, guys. Uh, good to see each and every one of you. And we are so happy. We are so happy you're here with us on this Wednesday. We hope that you guys have a productive day. That's the kind of day we want. Go out there and be great, folks. Go out there and conquer. We didn't come to stoop. We, come, we came to conquer. We came to conquer, guys. Good to have each and every one of you. The month is racing by. It's the 23rd already. And we are heading into our third month of this program. So good to have each and every one of you here. Good to see you, Kim Delon and Andrea Paradise and uh, Stephen, Yolandia, Thomas. Good to see you. Good to see. I, I, so many folks are joining us. Dave Durell. Good to see you, Dave. And all the other beautiful, lovely folks. And the guys are asking, where is Jurita? Where is Amanda? Amanda is still on work duties overseas. And we're going to be touching base with her soon as uh, she's still on work duties, believe it or not. And Jurita is taking some time. How are you, man? Put, <laughs> fix your hair. Put in your hair. Whatever needs to be done. Powder your nose and say, how are you, come the man? <laughs> you all know how you ladies are. You all know how you ladies are. I always want to make sure you are properly comported. You put yourself together looking nice and so forth. So we're going to have her in just a second. But folks, as you, as you join our program this morning, feel free. Feel free to do us a big favor and share, 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 share. I got white space this morning. Share. And smash that emoji button for us, guys. Smash that emoji button. A lot of things happening. A lot of things happening. Uh, we're going to be discussing this morning, and we're so glad that we have you guys here with us. So glad. Pull up a cup of coffee with us. Pull up a cup of tea, a cup of Milo tea, coffee tea. Pull up your toast bread, <laughs> your towel bread, or your, your, actually, your, your actual toast bread, the formal toast bread with your toast and so on, or pull up your towel, whatever you're having for breakfast. And guys, let's touch on a couple of issues. Start the day right, and then we move on. Good to see Gavin Liverpool is with us, and Carol Hudson. Good to see Shondell Moses. Bernadette Duncan is here as well. Family. Good to see you. Bernadette and Rosanna Wallace. You know, now that Judith isn't, isn't on set, or a man that can be a little, little brother. Family. Donna Joseph. Good to see you. Naya. Is it Hasting? Yeah, Hasting. Naya Hasting. Good to see you, Naya. Good to see you. And all the other folks. Shondell Moses. Rosanna Wallace. Good to see you, Rosanna. Oh, yeah, like the accent just kicks in like that. Smash the emoji button. Share, share, share the live stream as well. Good to see you. Uh, and Yolanda Thomas says she enjoyed Christopher Jones' presentation there. We're going to see if we can grab it. Uh, we're going we're gonna to ask Chris to send that presentation for us. And, and we make sure that we, we queue it up. And uh, I'm happy you enjoyed it. He actually sent me the written, the written text. Um, and I was going through that. But... It's going to be good to see the video. Angeli, Angeli, Angeli Abrams. Good to see you. Angeli says, good morning, everyone. Good morning, all. <laughs> Carol Rollins is here as well. And Wendy Farley. Wendy, how are you doing? Guys, where are you joining us from? Uh, Paula Booker and uh, Carol Rollins. Hazel Prince George. Patricia Graves-Andy. Good one. Wherever you fantastic, 
lovely folks are joining us from. Ensure that you give us a share. Share the program. Let other people get valid, incredible information covering a number of things this morning. And we're so glad, so glad that you guys are here with us this morning. We couldn't, couldn't ask for a better audience. By any means, pull up your cup. What are you guys having? I, I having some. I, I having some um some some tea, some tea bag tea, <laughs> some pe peppermint, folks. Some tea bag tea. And I'm so happy you guys are here. Probably have something else little, later on. Uh, cook us up something in this kitchen. You see, if I start cooking here, it's problems, you know. Some of you won't even want to go home. You all taste my hand. You won't even want to go. I tell you that. I tell you that. Right? I had a friend of mine came over to my house. Right? Had, had, had some of my cooking. Right? We married now. She didn't want to go home. <laughs> she didn't want to go. We married now. <laughs> taste the cooking. You see how, you see how long up. That being said, folks. That being said, good to have you here. What are you guys having for breakfast at your end? Matthew Dennison, who is watching us from Manhattan, New York. Good to see you, Matthew. And uh, Joanne Jemot, good to see you, Joanne. What are you folks having for breakfast? And Clarissa, good to see you there as well, Clarissa. Derek Smith is here. And Derek is joining us from Antigua. Once we all love to be in Antigua, one of those many beaches. They say Antigua got a beach for every day in the year. Good to see you. Bernadette. Bernadette says she's already shared to 10 people. Good, Bernadette. Beautiful and lovely. <laughs> we need more Bernadettes. Oh, y'all be like Bernadette now. Bernadette Duncan family. Bernadette says she already shared to about 10 people. Share the thing, the man. Some of y'all watching us, y'all people. Y'all people, see if y'all boss. <laughs> we'll see y'all watching folks, getting the valid and credible information, folks. You got to do what you got to do. Do what you got to do, but be happy. You guys are here. Marilyn King, I see you. Don't think I see you, Marilyn. And Joylyn Thompson. I see you guys. Linda Thomas. Robert Pops Arch is here. Robert is one of the folks who always hear us. Good to have you, Robert. Rosanna Wallace and Suk Chan Sudhari. How are you doing, Suk Chan? We know it's early, but we're here. we here, folks. I was up since, folks this since four this morning, feeling a little groggy. But here, nonetheless, fighting forward. Pamela Douglas. We see you, Pamela. I saw that comment there. Margaret Morris, we see you as well. And uh, uh, <laughs> Marilyn says, like, Juita, take, take the day off. Everybody flying out, you know. Everybody jetting out. So I won't be surprised. Man is a jet out. Juita jet out. Everybody jetting out. Half the government overseas. So I won't be surprised. Juita God. Marilyn Lorimer, good to see you as well. And Paula Maris. But Juita is going to be with, with us shortly. With us short. She better bring breakfast, too. When you're late, you better bring breakfast. Full stop. Rhonda Ferguson, good to see you as well. And Richie and all of the other folks, good to see you. Kim Walker and uh, I see Patricia Leacock has joined us as well. Good to see you, Patricia. Guys, we're so happy that you are here. Folks like Dolores Lynch and, and is it Lorraine Beat? Lorraine, how are you doing, the man? How are you doing, Paul, Paulian Schultz? Good to see you. Some of our favorite guys, Desmond McDonald is here as well. Good to see you, folks. Shavoni, McDonald, Shavoni, how are you? Is it just Shavon, Shavon. Good to see you. Rosanna Wallace says, I love your show. God continued blessings. I receive that. I receive in the name of the Father. I receive that, folks. Smash, smash, smash emotion. I know, interestingly, I'm here alone, and you guys get to see some more of the set. <laughs> some more of the set. I know some of you aren't even listening to me. You know, y'all want is really kind of the is he toaster? Well, uh, uh, um, some of you all said, well, I want, of course, got uh, um, a coffee maker like like this here. Mm? And I, 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 I think my kitchen could take two, two of them jars and the bread bin. But I won't put the books there. <laughs> I won't put the rum in the corner. And I want to get these plates from some of y'all fast like that. You know, don't think I don't know y'all. Don't think I don't know y'all. Melanie Drayton, your name calling. Melanie Drayton, your name calling. Kenneth Dennis, good to see you as well. And Winston Kerr. Guyanese brown sugar. You see, this now is relative, right? Many people get to have these fancy names. They're trying to tell you something, you know, Guyanese brown sugar. They're trying to tell you something. Alia Waldron. <laughs> Alia says she's wondering if it's my house. Come through and see the man, Alia. You only promising me, promising me, you're passing through. Pass through the man, right? Pass through and check things out. GT Rude Girl is here. GT Rude Girl said, we drink here with tea and we mind you with your own business. On that note, Mm -hmm. On that note, we drink it with tea and we mind it with your own business. GT Rude Girl. Yep, Candy is here. Candy, you're late. Candy, you're late. And whoever comes late, 
got to buy breakfast. Or let you know you have the meeting. That's the rule. Whoever comes late, got to bring refreshments. Onika, Joseph, we see you there. Leslie and Charles. Guys, we ain't seen 300 comments. We want to see the comments. If you don't comment, we don't see the names. Rami, Leander, Leslie and Charles, we see you guys. Because they're commenting. Shondell Moses, right? Or some of you just drinking your tea and minding your own business, you know? When some people lay, they got to come through loud, loud, loud. <laughs> Uh, the women come in quiet, and we've already established here, folks. All protocols haven't been established. Whoever comes late got to bring breakfast. All protocols haven't been established. And when Judy comes on, you all feel free to ask her why she's late. She can tell you about the makeup and the powder and so on. And you keep pressing those questions on the right spot until you get the answers. Good to see you, Fitzherbert Jerick. Fitzherbert Jerick has joined the broadcast, folks. And Fitzherbert Herbert Jarek is joining us from Connecticut, believe it or not. Folks, I never knew Connecticut was so beautiful. My God, I was in Connecticut in November of last year. Uh, winter was just coming on. I think whichever season comes before that <laughs> was ending. Folks, my, my God, the trees were so beautiful. To see the trees changing the season, they were gorgeous, folks. I could withstand the cold just to look at them trees. A little longer, but folks, when the cold step in, <laughs> I'm happy. I am happy, guys. Good morning to each and every one of you, right? Let me just be extra before my co-host comes. <laughs> Good morning to each and every one of you. Wherever you guys are joining us from, share, share the live stream and smash that emoji button. You know, we come from a tropical country. We think we know cold. We say, oh, place cold. Huh? <laughs> Uh, the window was stepping in, guys, and I stepped out of my host home. Beautiful estate. Beautiful estate. I stepped out of the home into the cold. I run inside back. <laughs> I said, I understood. I understood that scripture. You know, so personally, for the very first time, I understood it. How he has set the bonds of rehabilitation. Hey, I'm happy. <laughs> I wasn't meant to be food in the freezer. I wasn't meant to be food in the freezer. Set the bounds of rehabilitation. When the cold hit me, it's like it shoot up in my bone. I felt feel my spine tingle. That cold, I said, not me again. Not me again. I time in, I time in my chips now. I time hot season. At least warm season. So, Fitz Herbert says it's cold in Connecticut. We hope you do all the things consistent with staying warm. Fitz Herbert, all the things. You know all the other fantastic folks there. In Connecticut, Sherlyn Juice Attenjury. <laughs> when the cold breaks, me, says, What kind of hobby is this? This will be strong. Them boys send something. Uh, not so Paul in Austin. I said, Them boys send something. Right? Youth of London, good to see you. Right? <laughs> Roxanne Aaron, good to see you as well. And Pamela Sanchari, good to see all you beautiful folks. Uh, Jennifer Jones Crawford, JJC. Jennifer Jones. Good to see you, Jennifer. Jennifer says she's in Florida, right? Shout out to my cousin, Jillian. No, she says shout out to her cousin in Florida, right? And New Jersey, a lot of family all over the place. Vashti Bagnot, one of our favorites. Vashti is joining us from Waterloo, Canada. Pimp, pimp. Y'all take that. And Vashti says right now in Waterloo, Canada, it's raining. I don't know if it's Herbert, if I'd rather the cold or I'd rather the rain. Which is it? But Candy Nalene in the cheese. Is joining us from sunny Caribbean. She says it's sunny in Caribbean. And you all got nothing on she. <laughs> it's sunny. The guys are telling us there's no video and no audio. What's happening? All right. Are you guys seeing us? Are you guys hearing us? I'm getting some mixed signals. You're not having any video or audio. All right. All right. If you, if you, we are getting video and audio at our end and our mobile devices and so forth. So maybe you got to check your phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not us. It's not us at all. Right. So I think Juita is coming on, right? She has tossed in her um her uh her uh, well, cup cup rest. She tossed it in. <laughs> She's coming back now. She's making her way on. Look, look the grand entrance. Let me get up. You can hear some screeching. Is the chairs and so on? Let me shift them to give Juita some room. <laughs> Explain yourself now, Juita. Explain why you're late to these people. Right? Hundreds of people waiting on you. Ex explain yourself. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Explain yourself to these lovely people. 
Listen, I don't have... Don't get big people waiting you. Don't think that this is going to go down lightly, right? folks. Sherrod is very keen on timing. Like, don't... If he does not get his timing in order, mm -hmm. he gets a little miserable. Yeah. Um, he has his OCD thing, so you... Yeah, when when this now. when we come off of this show, oh my god! Hear the reverse psychology He's though. Read the right hear it. Act, the, the reverse right psychology. To me, right? Let me make sure I am even. You hear a little switch in chair. But guys, we're happy to be here with you. Look, folks, waiting on you. Smash those emoji buttons, folks. Smash, hey, smash, morning, smash. Candy. Good morning, everyone. Chandel Moses. Smash, good morning, smash, Mark. smash. Good morning, Aubrey. Good morning, Tommy. Good morning to all you folks out there. I am late. Um, I heard Sherrod. I was uh, <laughs> I was tuning in from beginning to make sure that I heard everything Sherrod was going to say about me. So um, I heard him say that when I come, I have to give an explanation. Mm. Well, I can't. I don't know if he's going to like this explanation, but I have an explanation, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, 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 I like story. I like so, Sash. This morning, you know, I always refer to once upon a time. <laughs> we there, we there, we there, we there. <laughs> Listen to what happened, folks. So, I have heard stories about the East Bank traffic, right? <laughs> so, apparently, I wanted to go test that this morning. <laughs> so, and I was, I had this lovely, um, this lovely, um, uh, driver. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is no long. This morning mm -hmm. was not the better. <laughs> Was not the better. Half. <laughs> pimp, pimp. But now you live in the East Bank. What you doing in East Bank, Sorry, Listen, I like to know. I live mm -hmm. on East Bank. Good. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> so, nevertheless, you know, I always heard uh, about guys and directions on these shortcuts, but I experienced it for myself this morning. So there I was, and I was being guided that this is a shortcut and it's going to get you there faster. And not so. Not as so. you can see, yeah. that's not going to be happening again. <laughs> I will never be taking that. It's bit not of happening again. You hear again. that? You hear that? And then two days later. <laughs> <laughs> no. Two days it's later. Not, two days it's later. Not. But guys, we're so happy. We're so happy. <laughs> Sweet is here. I told you she was coming, right? She didn't jet off like some other people. She no, didn't jet. no. I know we can talk. Could, could, can we talk about these folks who have been jetting off? Oh, I brought. Well, I, brought I brought two Nazis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where I knew this look was coming when I brought it. <laughs> She's handing my nuts to me. <laughs> Story. One second. Where do you go from? Where do you go from here? She's handing me. <laughs> she had my nuts in her hands. <laughs> she had my nuts in her hands. <laughs> My, my, my. <laughs> the tears this are is really nice. Eyes. She handed me my nuts. Two nuts. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That oh, being said, let me just leave it right here. <laughs> she handed me my two nuts. What story is this here now? <laughs> you know, what back and all is this, Trinidadians? <laughs> it was supposed to be four. Uh, what back and all is this? <laughs> what back and oh, all? Listen, he was asking for breakfast. That's her arm. That's my piece meal. <laughs> <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> a big man like me. Nuts in the morning with some black. I mean, things tight. <laughs> things hard, but I know because the living can up so much now. It's nuts and black tea. <laughs> up to nuts and some black tea. Don't go hold it till lunch. <laughs> Listen. Here's the story. Eh? <laughs> Sharon was asking. Sharon was asking for breakfast, right? <laughs> so I wasn't. And breakfast? It's all to the grub. <laughs> uh, breakfast or two nuts? I was, yeah, in, take, I was already in the car. I'm late already. So. She got too much of PP friends, you know. Take, so. take, take, take two nuts. You're hungry? <laughs> You're hungry? Take two nuts. Yeah. <laughs> The women grieve and the fishermen. Oh my god. Uh, take some lunch in the church. <laughs> this? this was the only thing, guys, that was in the car <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Not even a half one nut. <laughs> Two nuts. Actually, that's all I could hold in my hands at the moment. Well, she had a new hand. Two nuts. My, my phone. In whole public, computer. everybody got to know we poor. <laughs> well, all you could afford is two nuts in the morning. You're poor, you're poor. Your poo. That's oh. what we there, folks. That's what oh it. Candy says she's having her coffee and biscuits. Y'all try that. <laughs> Any nuts with that candy? Any nuts? Listen, nuts are healthy. Good source of protein. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Burn this and things tight. <laughs> Patricia Leacock said, up, up, up. <laughs> Marvin Jacobs said, do nuts. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my breakfast. Yeah. Breakfast. Two nuts and some black tea, Duncan. You take them. That's it. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Well, uh, Audrey goodness. Washes is washing from British Virgin Islands. Oh, lovely. Yep, I love the British it. Virgin Islands. Yep. Yep, that's just what we need. British Virgin Islands and nuts. What's going on over there? What else do you need in the morning? British Virgin Islands and nuts. Cherry Baskin, uh, Robin says, person of interest, Arj, a man said, yes, with two nuts, you use a person of interest. <laughs> <laughs> P-O-I-E, person of interest. Uh, Mark DeCosta has joined us, right? Mark DeCosta has joined us. He said, never take a car with the prefix PPP. <laughs> <laughs> Mark D. Right? You all know the series? You go, okay, the series P, some, the, uh, see, they've, they've passed the P's, you know? Right? The yeah. PPP series was a little earlier, though. Yeah. Mark said, don't, don't buy no car PPP. <laughs> PPP series. <laughs> no, no, no. Car can broke down. Oh, my goodness. Oh Two my nuts, God. folks. Two nuts. Oh, well, so, yeah. um, I'm seeing um, is what is, uh, I'm not getting the name clearly, yeah. is Ran DJ. Yeah, Ran is a two whole nuts. Two, What's Ran? Two, two, two. two single nuts. I can't two single nuts in breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Two singers. Things tight, we told you. Things tight, we told you. Oh, my goodness. Moving on, folks. Moving on. Quite a few things. Quite a few things on the morning papers. Oh quite a few goodness. things. Right? Let me, let me move the nuts off the paper. Put the nuts in the corner. Guys, you have no idea. <laughs> quite a few no things idea. on the morning paper. And uh, I think we're starting in Trinidad. Um, the folks Trinidad and Tobago, yeah. Yeah, Trinidad and Tobago. And I see um, there, as we see in the morning papers pop up this morning, we see PMI's full reopening of Trinidad and Tobago, and that has been taken out of the Trinidad, the TNT Guardian correct, this morning. Correct, correct, correct. Yes. But you, you know, you the, how fast I've fallen, Sharon. The, the <laughs> difference there. <laughs> I'm just making it's the nuts for you. I'm late it's the nuts for you. <laughs> the um the, the the but what 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 I what I love in this instance here, which we didn't see happen here, they said um, based on their um mm -hmm. they've been monitoring COVID mm -hmm. and based on the post carnival numbers, there's mm -hmm. been no spike. Mm -hmm. And so they think based on the vaccination all that they were in a good place. Oh. And I could understand that kind of rationale, right? But we, you know, were told, mm -hmm. you know, don't ease up on the throttle yet with the prevention uh, methods and protocols and all that. Who cares? Big opening with little justification as to how we arrived here. And as we said last evening um, on uh, the in the ring program, that the American embassy wrote to their staff again. You know, when they write to their staff, things happen in this country. Uh, in the first instance about their uh, the safety of the Starbrook and yes. border market. Another letter went out to staff yesterday. Uh, well, rather not to staff. But as it's a an general, advisory, an advisory, an advisory, yeah, basically. An advisory that says that COVID-19 mm -hmm. rampant there. Mm -hmm. We're at stage three. So don't come to Guyana. That's what it was saying. Basically. Unless you have, you really have to make sure that you're fully vaccinated. And what it didn't say is that because these people got some haphazard measures here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was that apparently is being designed to kill us all. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So don't that's come, what don't happening. Come. That's what happening. So uh, Trina seemed to have a better mm -hmm. uh, rationale yeah. as to why they're heading to a full opening. Well, on on I, I see I see that, and again, I must uh, I can put in at this time that no one is against, of course, um, a gradual opening and all of that because. Mm -hmm. At some point in time, um, we hope to get back to a sense of normalcy, like we were, like we were in before, prior yeah. to um, the twenty twenty um, the start of the pandemic. Then, however, uh, our contention has been every single time we talk about it is is the haphazardness of the policies yeah. and the disconnect altogether. That is how how it has been implemented. Things that are being pulled back whilst. In, Whilst um, a Gaza Sudor is saying one thing, the ministers advising on something else and all of that. So there's no coherence in the process altogether. Correct. And that's Correct. what we have been speaking out against. So. Correct. And I, I just hope things go back to normal soon. You know, um, with proper management of COVID and all that, things would go back to normal. Because God knows, I can't eat nuts every morning. Well, so I hope things go back to normal. Well, I think you should hold soon. on to your, the, the nuts. <laughs> Hold on to the nuts. <laughs> I go to say your boy. And I choose. Well, uh, well, it's my nuts. You've given them to me, hopefully. <laughs> but I hold on to my nuts. I see persons in the comment section actually asking for one. You hit some things Jesus. real tight. <laughs> it's just, it's different. I don't know why you haven't given me my two nuts in this show for the bank. No. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so that's happening in Trinidad. But locally, we see that the guys are saying that 
um, the Alan could face sanction with what we did, sanctions rather, yeah. internationally based on our treatment of the Haitian. The mistreatment, yeah. all together. Um, well, a person would remember that I believe it was um, none other than attorney at law, Dan Wade, who actually um, took took that matter before the court and said those Haitians were unjustly um, treated in Guyana. I think that he went up against the attorney general and, yeah. and he won that case. Yeah. And it was um, basically straightforward. He he at one point went um, to a location in which the, the those persons, some persons were being held, some Haitians were being held to basically show the, um, the inhumane treatment that they were receiving there. A very old woman basically in tears. And you know, it's very... Um, Touching to look at it and can't believe it. Very, uh, I'm very disturbed as a citizen of Guyana that this is treatment meted out by from Guyana to Haitians that were here. So um, I, yeah. I'm going to look. At, I'm going to be looking to see where this, where this go and how it progress. Definitely. And you know the beautiful thing about this country, we are very hospitable people. Most mornings, most mm. mornings, and to see the treatment of how these Haitians were treated. You go into Georgetown now. And every corner you turn, somebody speaks a foreign language. So I'm seeing right? um, the song went, and I'm not hearing from Marlon Young is saying that. So, folks, if you are hearing clearly, just let us yeah, know. Yes, let's you hearing us. Let me just know if this is a piece you, with Marlon. You, if if or you're not. hearing us or you, you, and you're seeing us clearly, let us know that. You hear me, you're seeing us clearly, let us know that. And we're going to address. Let me make sure that. Yeah, my mic looks good. Right, and Bernadette says she's cooking without garlic. No, garlic is a thousand dollars a pound. I never like garlic. Anymore. Never like garlic. <laughs> never <laughs> like. I'm gonna, I'm right? gonna say it until I convince right? myself. Bernadette, remember you should use garlic. Dr. You can Carl use Miller nuts. Miller, loud and clear, so the yeast is not on all. Yeah. Thank you, thank you guys for that. Feedback. So you know, Bernadette, whatever garlic you used to do, you could get nuts. You you grate two nuts and flavor up. <laughs> If that's what's available. Substitute <laughs> goods. No, sir? Economist? So, Yonet Edwards is saying, she's here, it's loud and clear, and she's asking, please, for half nut. Half a nut. Half of my nut you want. <laughs> no one just. <laughs> How one just? Half of my nut. <laughs> yep. So, we're, uh, we're uh, again, looking to see where this, where this goes, uh, because they said that, an, uh, um, what do you call it? This matter has been filed yeah. uh, internationally, and we're going to see how that goes. Because we, uh, uh, as I, even the situation between, I just use this as an example because I've been speaking on this matter um, when speaking about Russia and Ukraine. We speak about how integrated the world is, and, and all states interdependent, basically. And so we cannot at any point in time believe it is okay and it will be unpunishable for one country to be treating one, another country um, unjustly, mistreated, and without their, them having consequences yes. to face thereafter. Yes, yes. So I, I definitely will be looking to see where this goes. Yep, yep. Yeah. Very well. Uh, but this other headline, you know, when the editor showed, showed it to us, I, I had a smile because it's not so much the headline as to who was making the comment uh, that the public service to see transformational development in the public service. And this is Jennifer West, Westford mm. making a statement. Who used to be minister of the public service at one point. It's quite interesting. And, you know, prior to 2015, the PP were in government for 23 years. But we didn't transform nothing. Oh. <laughs> but public services see transformational development. A couple things, a couple things to point out. Mm -hmm. um, One. And the, the first thing being, um, this is the first pronouncement I've heard from Jennifer Westford since um, 2020, since the PP took off. And we didn't miss her. In August of 2020. However, I'm going, to, I'm going to note uh, the fact that uh, that the subject minister is not in the country. So, so her advisor, Jennifer Westford, took so, the opportunity. Oh, <laughs> you're training the girl now. <laughs> To make, Jenny, to make some pronouncements. So that's, the first, that. so that's the first thing I noticed we see you, when, Jenny. when I saw that. We see you, Jenny. And also when it comes to um, Jennifer Westford making pronouncements as for transformational development for um, in a public service, one of the things I want persons to know, especially public servants that are looking at us this morning, is that we went in and, and met a, a system that, that we inherited from them after 23 years in office. And they broke up. And, and the most ridiculous and system broke up. ever. So for them, for her to be making a pronouncement now in the absence of the subject minister as the advisor in that ministry, I beg to... Um, to hear the comments from the, the subject minister on this matter, because Parag may say that this was Photoshop. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting to see Miss this. <laughs> it's interesting to see this posturing um, and this backstabbing. Yeah, it's interesting. Very, this, very it's interesting to see because you know, I I see a pattern mm -hmm. every time uh, Irfan Ali is overseas. Jack New has a major press conference and he is dictating what's happening nationally. These big projects. I, I, wanna, I want um, us to just pause on a comment. Continue continue with um, that line, but I want us to just bring back um, a, a comment that I saw a little earlier. Help us with the comments, guys. Take us back up a little bit. Gently. Gently. <laughs> A little more. Yeah, yeah. So every time Irfan, right here, we're good every here. time Irfan Ali is overseas, mm -hmm. every time Irfan Ali is overseas, we see Jagnio, you know, take center stage. Yes, exactly. Right. Exactly. So he has gone up now to Esikebo mm -hmm. and gives being handed out, which we're going to discuss it more in depth later on, which is much like what West is doing here. Yeah. Sonia Prague is overseas and she take over now. Yes. The advisor. The advisor. <laughs> what does she advise? You know, it's interesting to ask that question. What does she advise? Because the Ministry of Health, I think, has, has two. If I'm yeah, not yeah, Ram Sami yes. and um, Barry. and Barry Ram Saran, Dr. Zoll, honorable so, men. I'm um, see. Um, the comment that I took note of um, there for a moment was Julian Elliott, and Julian is saying, Sherrod, um, so do you think the authorities will jump the AD vehicle series? Is that the minibuses will be really BAD then? <laughs> Smart, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me all too smart, we all look good. Too smart, I we all look good. I did not think about that before I right? saw that comment, but now I'm going to be thinking right? about it. It's a, it's a big view. It's not in the comment section. I hear somebody saying, Surrender, get off, devil. <laughs> Exorcism <laughs> happening. Surrender, get off, devil. <laughs> it's a big fight in the comment section, you know. That's a conversation That's second show. all by itself. That's the second show. So, uh, you know, again, I, I smiled a little bit when I saw Jennifer Webster talking about mm -hmm. trans transformational development in the, in the public sector, in the, you know, yep. the, the public service. Interesting. Yep, yep, Interesting. Yep. You had a long time, Jennifer, had a long time for the all these ideas. The structure, one of the, one yep. of the most um, yep. you, ridiculous You have system. to wait three months as a, a new employee in the public sector, public service, mm -hmm. to get your pay. Yeah. Right. You see, they want to send me to do prostitution, and this is all Bali wouldn't fetch anything much these days, <laughs> right? That's what they're doing. It's trafficking in persons. It's not a public sector, but I think uh, Tabitha Halley is continuing some work she started in the public sector as minister mm. to get that wall torn down. You got to wait three months. Yeah, she did. Prostitute she, yourself she and oh, a lot of people work with that. But of course, now that they're back in office, it's back to square one. Yeah, with that process, I think they enjoy that process. Yeah, so you know there's a bill the, the other day they passed the National Assembly, mm. the the organs transplant bill. Like I see people selling out one one side long and all just to. Make it when you join the public sector. Lung, kidney, everything. Yes. Right? If, if you sell on both in the kidney, you can't go to the lungs. You can't go to the lungs. <laughs> right? Just to make it in the public sector. But you know, it's one thing after the next because after that bill was passed, interestingly enough, we heard um, the government talking about uh, medical tourism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> if you were to put these things together, <laughs> They gone you know, right now. A whole shutter. pack of them gone on medical <laughs> tourism. A whole pack of them. But folks, we got some things that are trending. We we think you ought to know about. We are in the trend now, yes. folks. We are in the trend internationally. Well, I. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's start from the international front. I see that in in the international trend this morning, the British Royals Jamaica visit store demand. For They're different than Jamaican berries. <laughs> different. No, but but this um this is particularly interesting to Guyana because if persons would um remember there there's a particular word I saw here made me um made me stop for a bit because every time I see this word I remember the mis rapper 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 <laughs> the mispronunciation rapper rapper. <laughs> so. Airfun's debut on the international stage rapper rapper rapper. Mm. Yes, for slavery reparations, and um, we're seeing that being a discussion right about the British royals um, and doing that visit in Jamaica that is going on right now. Persons would know that um, we have the British royals over there. They have been, they were protested um, in in, in Belize, in Belize initially, yes. yeah. 
Yeah. But now that they're over there, that is, William that and is, Kate. That is the um, demands that has been stirred up, and I, I think rightly so. You know, if you look at history throughout the world, um, reparations have been granted for several other issues, and then why not reparations for slavery altogether? So that is a conversation that um, should be had. And I, yeah. and I, and I think reparations, not repar, 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 repar. We want reparations. <laughs> that, 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 you know, but you know what, 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 what was interesting? A comment I saw by Beanie Man. He, I, I did see Beanie Man wasn't having it. Let's just drink comment. with him. I, I did see a comment from Beanie Man. I think he was saying he wants to see um, Megan and Harry. <laughs> he prefers to see Megan and Harry. Something along that yes, line. Yes, that's what he said. He said he prefer <laughs> Megan and Harry to, to William and Kate. And what it does show is the, um, it just shows persons like the fact that the Meg Megan and Harry, um, their story, it could, persons can, uh, it could be translated throughout um, boundaries. And, and, and that's what people gravitate to. You don't want to see these uh, uptight persons. Yeah figures but the megan and harry megan has brought this level of um, normalcy mm -hmm. to how he operates as a person and people identify with that a whole lot more normalcy yes <laughs> <And then poverty>. <laughs> <laughs> she brought, she, megan brought nuts for harry. Listen, when we nuts. offer this show sharon is going to be eating those nuts one. You, nuts I harry take a picture, i swear so I'm but billy man no evil <laughs> billy man no evil that being said, uh, close to home. Well, there's a lot going on closer to home, but one of the things that um, that I was most um, well is disheartening to witness is the situation um, in um, that happened in Region Nine, and I'm pulling it up right here as I pull it up. A motorcycle that died in an anti accident. Motorcyclist. And, motorcyclist. Yes. But the cycle could have died too. If it My was God! Did I just say that? Yes. My God. No, same thing. Yes, it's not the same thing. Same, same, <laughs> same, same difference. Same curry, fish, fish curry. Right. And I want y'all know, Twitter went to Queens, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh Listen. God! Twitter went to Queens, you know. Oh my right? goodness! Went to Barbados Secondary for a bit, and then Queens. No, in I actually Latias. went. I went to. Um, I actually went to Barbados Secondary, then to. Um, then to Shortville Secondary. Yes. Same thing. Then back to Vargas the Secondary. Same thing. <laughs> yes. Move out a little bit, Joe. Move out a little bit, Joe. All over the place, people. Uh, yes. Yeah, so the anyway, motorcycle died. The motorcyclist that died, um, it, it, the image um, that was most disturbing to me was the fact that in 2022, the biggest budget ever, with so much talk about um, care for the hinterland and persons living there, I saw that uh, Mr. Ken was the guy's name. Mr. Ken was being transported to the hospital on a four wheel, a ATV, basically. And this was. This and this is, is, this is someone that was. Um, this, is, this is before he succumbed to his yeah, injury. Yeah, correct. So, he said he was unconscious. Exactly. He was unconscious. And, and, and you know, it's most. I don't know how many of you out there ha have actually been on an ATV. But again, I come from um, Region 7, so this is something that, that I know by heart. I've been, a, I've been on ATVs all over. So to see someone that was in an accident, a motorcycle accident, which more than I have broken bones, more than likely have broken bones in his body and so forth, he's in an unconscious state. Now you are putting that person, that person's body on an ATV to transport him to the hospital. That's a death sentence all there by itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, I think Georgia characterizes correctly to say, biggest budget later. Yep. Right? And you had two budgets before that. And, yeah. you know, all the things that are touted, the transformations. Say looking for them. Yes, yes, so, yes. What do all these billions go to? You, 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 you see billions going to the hinterland for this, for that, for the next. But what, whatever happens to that money? Yeah. I mean, last month, it was February. Mm. We had a region of, of the budget. Right? And you tell me we in this dull drum with the economy in March? Well, there's, with no end in sight? Well, there's a lot being said, and I want to, when it comes to money and the fact that the budget was passed, there's a lot of complaints I've been hearing about contractors not being paid on time right now contractors are complaining that's a conversation that is being stirred up all by itself right now so a lot of contractors that are doing government work through the various ministries have been complaining that they are yet to be paid wow. and they have never taken this long to be paid before wow. so that's a complaint all by itself that we're mm -hmm. going to be looking at what's it. happening in the economy we're going to be touching on some of those yep. things uh, i think as far as the big issue this, yep. this morning but again Correct. our thoughts and prayers are with ken's family Class and prayers are with him. Yep. 
Well, we see that um, another issue that we're looking at, we see the convicted um, child rapist gets um, another 30 years behind bars. This is a story that we looked at up to yesterday, that the sentencing, when we looked at it yesterday morning, we said that he was to be sentenced yesterday. And the sentencing came back and he was given um, 30 years behind bars. So that is a situation there that i don't uh, like i said those people should be locked up for life i believe that um there's a lot of research out there um on a lot of psychological research out there that basically says when it comes to um persons that um that interferes with children altogether yeah. that those people don't have any there, there is very little hope of them ever getting to a point that they don't go back to that. There was a lot of research that said- So I say, just bring back, I ain't not waste access. But it's crazy because um, a psychologist actually interviewed persons um, that were in jail for, for different crimes against children, sexual crimes against children. And they confessed, one, one that was, um, two of them that was serving life sentence actually said that when, uh, before they got that life sentence, when they got uh, these sentences, like 30 years, 20 years, and so when they came out, the man said the very first thing he did was go to a playground to look at the children playing and looking at the child to see which child he can target and prey on next. So now he is behind bars. So a lot of research and psychological studies behind that, that, that make me say that they should be locked up forever mm -hmm. because I don't see any, um, any hope for them, especially in a system here in Guyana that there, okay. that there is absolutely nothing being done to actually, uh, to, to get into their minds and try to see if they can change that line of thinking altogether. So, yeah, yeah. I said only waste tax space money. You would just bring yeah. bring back hanging and finish. Bring back hanging. Yeah. Moving on from there. You can't do the crime. You can't do the time. Don't do the crime. Yeah. 30 years. Mm. Justice. Yep, very much so. Um, another another story, and I want to speak about this one in particular because um, it's going to go back to a conversation we had um, on some shows back. Missing person report has been lodged with the Breakdown Police Station for 18 year old um, Tiana Pinky Britain. Later, another report was came out that said um, the young lady, Tiana Pinky Britain, was found on the Kitty Seawall. And this story at the moment seemed to be very bizarre yeah. to me yeah. with the information that is coming out. But I want to make this point because we had covered a missing person report prior and a lot of times people are going to the comments of these of these reports online and so on they say oh well this girl probably gone by some guy and, and that's usually the conversation that is had and i often say well not often i always say that when we see things come out and we see missing uh, persons are missing women young women are missing the little teenage girls are missing then we need to treat all of them with a level of seriousness like no other and this is a situation there that I, I, I want to refer to this mm -hmm. because it's saying here, and I'm taking this off of um, HGP Nightly News, that says 18-year-old um, Tayan Britain who was moments ago found on Kitty Seawall by a man and his wife who recognized her photograph from Facebook. Police are now investigating a complaint of kidnapping and assault filed by, filed by the parents. Britain told the police that she... Um, she can rem all that she can remember is being blindfolded, taken to an unknown, unknown location and beaten, right? Her alleged kidnappers cut her hair and burned her on her legs and arms. So there's a lot more information that needs wow. to come to the public for this. But like I keep saying, when you see a missing person report out there, just don't cast it aside and say, oh, well, this person probably gone by somebody. No, that's not the way to treat things because serious matters will go unnoticed and, does, and will not receive the amount of attention that it's so desired. Because I don't know how this story will develop, but definitely I'll be following it very close because things are such I'm very passionate about. And I hope that we can get some answers to this all together. Yeah. How did she get there? Who were the persons that took her? And all of those um, things. But um, we're thankful that, that she is home safely and, yeah. and, and, and she is alive. Okay, so she's alive. That is the main thing, and she will be able to, to tell that story. However it unfolds, every life matters, so we're thankful that she is back home with her family at the moment. Yep, yep. What else we have on the trend this morning? Well, we have... Uh, <laughs> I, I read a report that says a taxi driver shot at Freedom Bar, suspect on the run, <laughs> you know? 
Guyana. Too many guns in this I, town, I you know. I was about to refer to the um the fact that the custom too many guns. Too shoot, many guns was shooting at the about uh, shooting the guys that went with their their the horse yes. card guys. Yeah, yeah, was yeah, that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the reports of this one that basically saying police are on the hunt for um, a suspect who shot a 30-year-old taxi driver of Suez like East Bank Demerara on Friday night um, to his left side of the leg, right? Police have headquarters in a report four days after the incident revealed that the shooting took place about um, 1.30 hours at the Freedom Bar nightclub located along the Suez like back road. A Freedom Bar. You know, interesting. Interesting. You know that name? <laughs> that interesting. Name, that interesting. Name rang several bells when I heard it. I was I was going to ask if there's any association <laughs> with, Very with other freedom and names in this country. <laughs> but um another issue I think Shared, you can take this one. Um teachers um at UG granted permission yeah. by the Teaching Service Commission being told that that such such shifts will be void yeah well the, t the teachers uh, they are complaining that mm -hmm. the former teaching service commission you know yeah. it hasn't been reconstituted as, as yet mm -hmm. has given them permission to attend mm -hmm. university during yes. the course of the day mm -hmm. um and and they can um and that's a contract they signed they said the yes. ministry of education pure manning chan is now avoiding that agreement that they had with the, the teaching service commission mm -hmm. and now want them to go into work as per regular come out for two and then to uh, attend classes online, but they're arguing that it's a full mm -hmm. uh, day's work and everything that it entails being a student, yeah. assignments, meeting with groups and all of that, it's going to be very cumbersome to do like two full-time jobs, basically. Yeah. At the same time and still be efficient in the classroom. But anyone at home, any, well, once you went to UG, I had, <laughs> I can understand this on both fronts because I was a teacher for two years and I, and I also um, went to University of Guyana. So I know that both of those jobs are extremely taxing. Yeah. The, a teacher is not just a teacher that goes in front of the classroom and, 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 and just lectures um, to children. That's not what teaching is all about. A teacher is a doctor, mother, psychologist, you yeah. know, every yeah. single, yeah. So many every hats. single so many hats thing that teachers have to, to do. And, and teachers are, are persons that actually have to take home work many times from school to just so it would be completed in a timely manner. A lot of times teachers be taking home test paper, taking home books to mark and so many yeah, things. Yeah, so yeah. To actually ha say that they would have to balance, um, manage both doesn't make sense because once you're studying, once you're reading for a degree at the University of Guyana, you don't have time full time. You're reading there. You don't have time to do anything else. Basically, a lot of persons find it difficult to, to handle part time jobs whilst going there, more so to full time jobs. So I understand and something needs to be done there. Yep, yep, yep. A lot of things are on the trend this morning. A lot of stuff on the trend that we're following. You know, another thing we're following on the trend? Well, he said. Yes. Marvin Williams, what Marvin Williams said. And, you know, there is an ongoing issue with them uh with the indigenous community of what is it wacky Kalkuni on the burbage river uh, they sent two petitions mm -hmm. to the installed minister mm -hmm. of indigenous affairs or american affairs they have they have yeah, renamed yeah. the ministry yeah. and she has not responded to both of them and they're saying they have some very valid um arguments they're making as to why this two shower should be removed yeah and that has not been so but part of what william said in a letter to the editor in today's newspaper he says uh i'll I pick up the letter from the very end he says it is clear that the matter is one of political connections persons and their interests appear to have been accorded priority uh, uh, over indigenous rights once again he's saying the the the, the, the law is very clear mm -hmm. but what should happen if uh, the Tushao has some infractions, Correct. grave infractions, but that has been pointed out to the minister twice, and not even the decency and the courtesy of a response is what Marvin Williams is saying. Not even the decency and courtesy of, of a response they are getting. Well, I, to in the matter. Well, <laughs> Paulin Sukai. The the Ministry of um of Amerindian Affairs because they renamed it, they took off the, the word Indigenous and put Amerindian just because they can and because they basically don't care about what persons have to say. Even Leonard Schumann has had an issue with the name, but then he he quickly pulled his tail between his legs and went on merry. Run. Yeah. But um 
basically what what he's saying there is a petition um that was put to seek to re, um, seek the removal of the vi the village to show the petition cites a number of alleged um contravention of the Amarina Act, which villagers say the two shall committed over time. But I believe that one of the things that people need to note is that is all of the stories that have been coming out of the Ministry of Amarinian Affairs um since August of 2020. We have um, the former PS on, I think, still the matter still to be heard before yeah, the, the court. The, the bribery issue. The bribery issue there and all of that. But generally, and uh, we have been saying it for some time, generally there is no real interest that the PPP have in these communities. And actually, things that will benefit the people, all they're interested in is to make sure that the people that they want in these positions, in this case, it may very well be this to show yeah. that that person is there. So whatever they need done in the communities are done in a manner in which it is being done. And I dare say that when you have um, these things be handled in this manner, it, it, it suggests that the to show have, have too many connections and ties with the ministry and particularly maybe with the minister also yeah that yeah. is preventing her from intervening and actually answering the call of the the villagers they are all together so interesting what goes on interesting you know a lot a lot of reports i must say at this point a lot of reports have been coming in that these two shows are being used even when the, it comes to uh, the monies for grants and so forth that the government has been spending the taxpayers' dollars that went to the National Assembly to be distributed to persons um, for various relief, that when the money goes to these areas, the two show calls people and said, the, um, and, and this is a report that came out of Region 9 specifically, that, that those persons were being told in the villages there that the PPP sent these monies to say thank you for voting for them. Interesting, interesting. Right? So when you see all of those things um, compiled together... It was. It, it is very um, interesting to note that no response has been given at this point. Wicked, wicked, yeah. wicked, wicked, wicked. Person of interest. Person of interest, guys, or person of interest. Yeah, the person of interest. Very interesting. I know I spent a lot of time um, on this particular um, person yesterday, Judge um, Kitanji Brown and Jackson. She's a supreme. Yeah, Court. yeah, yeah, yeah. She is um, the, I think we have our, our graphic all <laughs> mixed up the graphic, there. Please? No, I think our graphic is a little uh. mixed up here. I think our um, notation doesn't match the photograph. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, then. So, is it um, not for us? <laughs> it's, it's Judge Katanji Brown Jackson. Folks, if you've been following yesterday, the judge was answering all the questions that was put before us, by before her to the, by the Senate yesterday, I, I I was listening to the line of question and I was thinking some of them sound most ridiculous um, altogether. The way in which they were um, trying to tie her up in terms of um, her religious beliefs. The Republicans, all. like the PVP, they can do what they gotta do. Exactly, gotta do. right. But I think so, we, we, can, we can talk about the judge maybe inverse it. We yes. deal with the big issue and right. then we'll wrap up on Judge Katanji. Most fantastic definitely. woman, fantastic Amazing woman. Amazing woman altogether. Well, the biggest issue is the cost of living. Oh. The cost, the high cost of living in Guyana. And it's getting higher every day. Well, uh, <laughs> interesting enough, I saw um, I saw a post yesterday um, on none other than Airford Ali's page as well, that, that I highlighted about, I believe, to be precise, it was 19 points, saying that this is the way in which the their administration is is handling is tackling the rising cost of living and i believe i i think i speak for all Guyanese, regardless of who you voted for at the last election i speak for all Guyanese when i say that was utter garbage it was nonsense and i i think that an apology should be put forward by the administration for just putting that forward and putting it forward as a blanket a cover-up for what persons are facing today Persons are not being able to afford food. Persons can't go to work because they don't have money for transportation. Children can't go to school because their mother can't afford to send them out to school. So many issues, the rising cost of living is ridiculous. And to say that, and, and to put out policies, well, to put out points that these, this is, these were your policies, it's most ridiculous. The things that were mentioned there, like, oh, we had a one-off um, 
payment to healthcare workers. Like those are that's one of the one of the points that were made. And when I read it, every single last one of those points could be rebutted on several different yeah. levels. Yeah. You know, because one thing to say that you're doing something, even for that that I just mentioned, the fact that you said you had this one-off payments for the healthcare worker, the healthcare workers that come under the Ministry of Human Service and Social Protection haven't yet to receive one cent of that money. So when you go out there and you're making those statements, be prepared to answer these questions. Why weren't the healthcare workers that falls under the Ministry of Human Service and Social Protection paid? I know nurses that actually said they went to Freedom House in an attempt out of desperation to find out why are they not being paid? And everyone is telling them that they're going to be following up with it. They're going to be following up with it. They talk about um, giving the GDF this um, this year and bonus, and then we can say, and, and the reserves are yet to be paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not why to are be, you even to trying to make these comparisons? And why are you trying to use these budgets, these budget measures to say that this is the way in which you have been tackling the cost of living? But more interesting for me is that five the five billion dollars and that was number one for them that they have allocated five billion dollars to aid in the um cost of to, to tackle the rising cost of living and it was crazy because yesterday i noted that um barry Jaglio also spoke about that five billion dollars while he was in Esquivo. and i can tell persons again i think we mentioned it yesterday um on the podcast also that when that particular line item was to be questioned in the national assembly when that when that was but i know that the opposition generally looked at it as a slush fund because you have no clear mechanism that is going to be guiding the process of who will be receiving monies and how from this particular sum of five billion dollars mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. are yet to see and if if past behavior is any indication of where it will be going we will say the 10 billion dollars flood relief that was supposed to go to the affected farmers the majority of that money went to friends of the of the administration yeah yeah, yeah. the COVID 19 the, the 25 thousand dollars person still have pink slips waiting on that money altogether you went into the system and you removed the 5b's initiative that was there by the previous administration that aided so many poor families to make sure that they can get their children to school and know that they will have a hot meal all of these things so how dare you come and even put these pointers out as your way of tackling the cost of it and you know one was what was one of the more insulting ones that was mentioned the fact that they thought it best to put in that um the pensioners increase that is something that we have been beating and beating and beating how could you put in that particular relief as a measure that you are tackling the the cost of living when you budgeted for 2022 that's a pointer you budgeted for it when it was three thousand dollars increase mm -hmm. yes yeah, so hundred dollars a day and not only that we learned thereafter that the pensioners would not be receiving for the full 12 months it's only they're only going to be receiving it for 10 months so that those are the measures that were highlighted by on the page of of air finale and i dare say that they are weak they are insufficient they are disrespectful and they need to come way better than that don't they go they don't go far enough they don't yeah. go far enough interestingly uh Barjagli was in escribo yesterday you know some rice farmers there have been complaining the price of paddy and they got a slew of things it, yes. it, it's apparent that when you that when you protest and so on you get things right at, at least some some regions and mm -hmm. not others we want to show you a couple of the things uh, that were given to the uh, region too yesterday interestingly mm -hmm. some of them perhaps weren't even mentioned in the budget but things just follow the sky yeah. things just follow the sky guys are we ready <laughs> yep well, the first one you see, 250 small business um, businesses to receive grants in Esquibo. You see 800 government-related um, jobs, 800 government-related jobs <laughs> offset it, um, part of their internet bill for goal scholarship. Well, let me just stick on this one a little bit, right? Offsetting part of their internet bill for goal scholarship, right? This is after the fact. This is after they would have gone to every region and put up massive billboards saying 20,000 scholarship delivered. 
before they even delivered one, right? This is after the fact. We have been they talking. No, no study, Go no audit of the IT needs. We talked Jesus, about Lord. this from day one. I dare say that they're now catching up mm -hmm. with a conversation that was that that has been had all the time because I particularly spoke about this one over and over and over again. And I say that you are going to hinterland communities, especially, and telling people to sign up for these gold scholarships that, that is basically an online scholarship program. And those persons don't have the connectivities. And now they are in S equivalent. The people are saying, yes, you're bringing the gold, <laughs> the gold scholarship. Mm -hmm. But what about the internet bill and the connectivity altogether? Mm -hmm. So that, that is a conversation we have been having. So now they, they are seeing the need to rectify yeah, part yeah, of yeah, that yeah. on yeah. that visit. There's an, there's, a, there's, a, there's an Eastern Duke in the comments saying that I was fired from Parliament, my lord. At least let me get me facts right now. Let me agree on the facts. Oh, you were fired. Eastern Duke, Eastern Duke. In the comments, folks, he said I was fired from Parliament. Wow. Well, um, on that note, Jesus. I can just say that... You understand why this country we are just because there's people like him in leadership? Uh, well, I hope that he's you not understand? in leadership. <laughs> he would people like him. I hope that um, his son is... Well, welcome to the program, but I hope he's not in leadership. But what I can say is that no Come one back, is guys. hired at Parliament. No one is hired at Parliament. You are put there by the people, through the people, <laughs> right? And that is the whole process. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but as we go back to uh, the actual um, graph that you that you're looking at um, on the screen, I say graph. Graphic. You, you see, you see, I said graph. Right. That, yeah. That's my Sorry. that's my cool. that's my economics. I'm used to so many graphs. Is it two major water treatment plants? Um, it got one billion for road projects. Two new large school buses. Oh, two new large school buses. Let me just stick about right there. No, also. no. But but Rita, <laughs> guys, come back to us. You know what is upsetting? Again, it just shows the total incompetence of the PPP. Because last month there was a budget. So how was all this miss? Who put in together the budgets? Last month wasn't last year. Was last month there was a national budget read. So we're all in these things they're hiding. We're all these needs they're hiding. But I want... <laughs> Interesting about the part with the large school bus, the, the school buses, right? This is the same administration that condemned and criticized the policies of the AP and UAFC administration. The 5Bs program that I just recently mentioned as we're on these conversations, that particular one of the Bs is buses, right? And the coalition, the Granger administration, took it upon themselves to have buses in every region to transport students to school. They went in and they unconscionably just halted all yeah. of those persons. They fired drivers, just yeah. no Park the buses, park the buses, all the parts and all right? that. That's what they did. So now they have to go back and the people and buy new buses. And the people are asking for the initiatives to be brought back. That is what is going on right there. The people liked the initiative and they, they I am, asked I am for still, it to come back. I'm still very concerned that we just had a national budget that was read. Yep. Programs, you're supposed to now be implementing the budget, not introducing new measures. But that that is what happens when you read the budget and then go consult with the people. You understand what happened here? <laughs> so, so when you go on the ground now, then you you think you know what they want, but when you go on the ground, you realize you know what they really want them things we want for them. Mm. It's most crazy. It's, it's most mad. Crazy. But the but the point we were making, guys, is if you look at the map, mm. you see an electoral map, right? You see an electoral map. Now these stuff aren't being given out in Region Four, in Sophia, right? In the south of the city, they aren't being given out in Linden. Right? And people got problems. The cost of living is high all over. The cost of living is high all over. So I'm interested to see the, the menu of measures that can roll out to Linden, for instance. But look at the map. Right? Look at the map and look at some of the projects that have been handed out. You just articulated some of them for Region yes. 2. Correct. Right? And if you walk along that map, Region 3, get gas to show. They promise to open back the sugar industry, but that doesn't extend to wheels. They said they can do gas, they show there, right? And then I heard yesterday in that, in if you want to call it an engagement, where it's just you talking for an hour and a half. Yeah, and shutting down people that are right? trying to be critical. And shutting down people. If that's what you call an engagement with the public, well, then we probably don't know what we're doing. Um, you got a gas, a show going there. They said 
oh, the fertilizer plant, we can pull down fertilizer costs, and when the gas, the sure thing gets up and running, and that can easy cost living. But when the plant can start, the plant hasn't even been built. This is a same, much more to produce fertilizer. This is the same to listen, ease the current cost of living. People, I don't want right? us we to sell get, in dreams. I don't want us to get tied up because this is the same PVP that went throughout the country. Um, they, my guys, they went. This is the same PVP that went to all of the um, the areas in which. Um, we had the sugar cane, the cane cutters all together, and they gathered them together and said, we will be opening back yeah. these industries. This is the same set of people. Yes. And we're not just saying that this is the same people. It's the same people that are going and say that this is what we're going to be doing. The same people went and said, we're going to be reopening it. these uh, Interestingly, these now, factories look at the map together. still. Look at the map still. And you come down from Region 3. you got gas ashore in Region 3. They're coming down now to Region 4. Right, and more suffer the same fate. Sugar and opening back, they Correct. give and more to private people who are doing some um, machine shop there at the and more packaging plant. Mm -hmm. so they're now saying they're doing an industrial development site, like and more can be a city in and of itself. That's and more, mm -hmm. right? Now these are all places that traditionally have voted for the PPC. Mm -hmm. So and more gets an industrial development site. Hope a wind farm. Going at hope, right? You come down now, region six, CGX, deep water port. Right? And I, I, again, folks, we're gonna be continuing to look and see the things that they're doing and where. And then you can see whether it's one guy and if it's truth. Well, there <laughs> but it, it's interesting, and I think um I think for maps like these should be um should be updated as they go along because um we will be seeing more like you, yeah. like you're rightly saying we will be seeing more and we we are to highlight the areas that they will be in and i dare say even if uh, a similar measure a similar um thing is done in any one of those green areas there it will be something that is only beneficial to a little community within those areas that supported them throughout you see this is what you have with Father Christmas and haphazard policies and plans. We've been in this country and we've spoken to children who had some serious issues being home away from school, yes. um, trying to do online learning. Parents have cried out for some kind of subsidy mm. for internet, yeah. some kind of asking the government. The ministry was engaging the, um, the not the ministry, the union, teachers union, trying to engage the authorities on yeah. some subsidy through GT&T, Digicel, or whoever, to lower the cost so children can come online more. What's the point you have online learning, gold scholarship, but nobody got internet? We're selling dreams to people. But it's interesting that you could go to one community in one day and say, oh, we can subsidize internet costs. Yes. Right? What happened to the children in Sophia? They got internet needs to. Apparently what not. did the children in Linden, Mabaruma, Letem? They don't have internet but, internet needs to. But on that note, I don't want I don't want you to miss it. I, you are absolutely correct. But and on that note, I, I want to say there's persons in in Sofia, persons Tiger in Bay. Mabaruma, persons in Tiger Bay, persons throughout this country that have internet needs. You get pen to paper and you write and you request it and let them deny it. But it you seems as though protest is the thing of the day. You got to no, protest first. That is exactly how you have to. And then you get things. But you cannot leave it at the point to say that, oh, well, but you didn't ask. You ask. Everybody, you ask. All the communities up in the hinterland that that, that that persons went there and they encouraged you to fill out forms or go for the gold scholarships and you don't have internet connectivity, you write and you ask. You tell them this is the needs that these are the needs that we have to get internet it connectivity always, and let yeah. them deny it because they will they will not go throughout the length and breadth of this country and cater to the internet needs for, for everyone. Which they was will not which was madness in what we're doing from the inception. You see big tents rolling out and um and freights that they con they converted into mobile offices decked out with AC and so on. Going the length and breadth of this country signing up people for gold. Yep. Who got no no internet? For the online scholarships. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No internet whatsoever. Right? But that's the dreams we're selling. Dreams realized indeed. 
and, 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 and lo and behold, a lot of persons are going to be left out of sugar workers with the, with, with the harsh realization that it was only a dream. Yeah, because as we showed you on that one Guyana exposed map, they promised the opening of the sugar industry. Two years later, not one. Mm -hmm. Not one. You got Wales. Wales and opening back to sugar. You got Enmore, Dan opening back, and some of them go follow some of the others. Same Jacobat told us that Skeldon, that was supposed to be the, the, the lamp set on a hill, right? They're going with a lower um, production target for Skeldon, right? And I saw, I saw one of the guys writing in the paper just this morning asking, when you all are issuing the, um, the award for democracy or medal for democracy, two years, and people said, oh, we fought for y'all to be in there. Right? Y'all don't recognize me. Y'all promise. <laughs> I, um, I, I think, it's, I think it's, that, that's laughable. For and every front. Want to see that. Every front is story. Every front is story. Right? I, I guess I should be giving out some plaque for corruption. Yep, 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 Something yep, like yep. a corruption plaque. <laughs> plaque for corruption. And we're going to be talking some more about these economic issues uh, on the podcast. Because they are, they are all around us. We beseech by the high cost of living. And we're going to be continuing to discuss what's happening and how we move forward. Clearly, this menu of measures, things passed two years ago. You were being given $25,000 two years ago mm. as part of the COVID relief. Then by telling you that was part of reducing the cost of living now. Yeah, yeah, that was it. My new person still did not receive it. Uh, yep. I, I think so. I think uh, so whoever is putting together the policy measures, actually someone needs to, to get them on the ground to actually go grocery shopping with persons to see what these measures um, have done and, and, and stop telling people BS at this Stop, Mama Guy. Stop, yeah. Mama Guy. That being said, folks, I think that's our program for, for today. But I'm so glad to see so many folks have joined us. I see Commissioner Cole is here. GT Rude Girl is here. Right, says people can, G2 says people can fool people, but not all the people. Correct, correct. We beg, but we do dotish. It's true. But there was, I want to note on that point that at the meeting yesterday, that there was, um, there were persons there. And I noted, usually when you have bar jag during a meeting in these regions, everyone stand in ovation, cheers to this. No, it was not like that. People went there with their concerns and they wanted to hear what solutions would have been given. And uh, the issue that they were dealing with um, particularly was the, with, with the rice farmers and the costs um, and, the, and the money that they have been offered for the price of um, paddy that was being purchased by the millers. And a lot of them, well, not a lot of them, I did not hear a single one that said otherwise. All of them that spoke were saying that the, the millers had owed them for two years and all of these things and what method do you have and basically the response that was given to them was that oh we can't do nothing about that you don't have a contract with this person you know yeah. that that owes you this yeah. money so we can't do anything yeah. so basically when they went there to have this meeting with the rice farmers to address this specific issue absolutely no solutions were provided to those persons the person were sitting there and they knew that this is just a talk shop and nothing is being um, done and nothing will be done that is going to be remedying the situation. So I, I beg to see how that particular matter goes forward because it's one thing to, to go and say that you are meeting with the people, but what solutions did you, uh, did you offer to their particular need that made you go in the first place? Nothing, nothing, given. nothing whatsoever, right? You even look at the menu of measures when you pull up that stuff. Right? You look at the menu measures. How some of that is in the cost of living now? What do you mean some of that? None Two of wells, it. easy in the cost of living. None of it right? is in the cost More of roads living. or something like that. Easy in the cost of living now. None like, of it. None folks, of it. <laughs> we're going to continue this discussion on our podcast below the belt. We want to thank you guys for joining the program this morning. Yes, most definitely. Thank you so much. Someone's asking for you to share one of your nuts with Isan. I don't think Sherrod is going to be doing that. <laughs> so. He nuts. He, he, he don't need nuts. He nuts. <laughs> He's your own nut. He nuts. <laughs> Have a safe day, folks. Stay Have, safe. See you back at 12. Well, tomorrow at 8. I'll be hearing from you guys in the comment section at 12. And then again at 8 p.m. this evening. Have a good day.